Oh, great. What? Every year, the incredibly aged Mrs. Kowalski takes a biology class with an ancient sex ed film. Who told you that? Your brother? <laughs> My dad. <laughs> well, I'm sure it can't be that bad. Good morning. I'm Miss Atkins. I'll be your new biology teacher on health and human development. I'm really sorry about the air conditioning this year, but it looks like we're going to suffer the this together. Bring on the pain. Let's get ready for this. All right. Everybody try to stay awake. All members of the animal kingdom, from the simplest one-celled organism to the most complex of mammals, engage in reproduction. This ensures that each individual creature can pass on its genetic information to future generations. Animals rely on a variety of courtship methods. This remarkable reproductive process is set into motion by the act of copulation also known as intercourse or coitus. In many species, the females attract their mates with chemical scents called pheromones. Pheromones are used to elicit specific behaviors from members of the opposite sex and are secreted by glands or incorporated into other fluids such as perspiration. The desired goal of all courtship behavior in mammals is Oh my god. What's happening? 
Oh my god. My face. My god. What'd you do to me? No, my face. What are we doing here? Well, I don't know, exactly. Like, I got this hot tip, that there's something weird going on up here, I thought it might be a good story. And by weird, you mean two people that make out point not making out? You're right. You know what, we're undercover, we should probably be a little more convincing. We planted our flag on the summit of intimate territory back when we were interns, uh, but... I thought it was, I mean, was No, it, it definitely was. Yeah, me too. I mean, really, I mean, really, definitely. And it's not like I wouldn't mind exploring that territory again one day. But I just thought maybe this time we could dig it a little slower. Well, I'm slow. Check that out in the really dark woods. 